Hello best friends, in this video I'm going to show you 30 ultra cheap fragrances. 20 of them are under $30 a piece. Even fragrances from Cheap Niche, even Versace, Amber Crombie Fitch, Bentley, Salvatore Ferragamo, to name a few. Shout out to Mark Jones, he's the viewer of the day. We're going to start out today with Mercedes Benz Man Grey, which comes in a grey bottle. You open it up, this oriental spicy zesty citrus fragrance, got like a pressurized sprayer. It has an oblinum note in it. What is oblinum? It's frankincense. Do you like fragrances with frankincense in them? It's not too prominent, but it's definitely in there. Got some woody ambers, fresh, masculine touches of musk in there as well. There's another note in here called Garunjan Balm, and that makes the scent trail. This is a resin from certain trees. It makes the scent trail in here pretty, pretty good. I really enjoy it. In my opinion, they made this in a gray, they call it Mercedes Benz Man Gray to evoke a modern feeling of man in the busy cities and concrete jungle, so to speak. Lots of pink pepper on the top, along with sage in the middle. I like fragrances like Versace Dylan Blue, Chanel Blue style fragrances, you know, mass appealing fragrances. You'll like this. After it dries down, it seems to be heavy on the umbroxin, but it still has this quality in there that I just don't know how to say it. It's kind of 90-ish. It kind of has a Prada Loam vibe. It's got a hint of sweet vanilla sprinkled in there somewhere. Maybe it's from the resins and the musk. It also has this herbal undertone from the sage coming out. Not too much. In the health world, people ingest sage to help with over perspiration. People that sweat too much, take sage, man. It'll help you out. It also helps anxiety. Next up, you have Fahrenheit by Christian Dior, but the cologne version is a lot less expensive. It's a modern take on it with citruses, mandarin, aquatic note, meg sitting on top of cedar, patchouli, vetiver. Produces a sweet, woody, earthy scent, the vetiver. This is natural and stimulating, and when you smell this compared to the other one, you smell fruit instead of chamomile that the other one has. It's a more modern version of the old school fragrance. The next fragrance is Jean-Paul Le Beau. This is from Bergamot Orange. I've demolished a whole entire bottle. I believe this will be the fragrance that'll go hard to find soon. It's got tonka beans, which gives off a uh, sweet spicy vanilla almond powdery note. It's got cocoa wood in here, which is the modern version of alternative to rain wood. It's what all the modern fragrance companies are using. It's clean, almost sweet style wood. Ultimately, this is an ele elegant aromatic fragrance. It's ultra modern and youthful, and it's a huge compliment getter. And if you're not familiar with Jean Paul Gaultier, he makes a fragrance called Ultra Meal. The next fragrance in our list is called Azaro's Wild Mint. It's very simple and minimalistic. It's got three ingredients. Mint, calypsone molecule, and patchouli. What is calypsone molecule? Calypsone molecule simply gives it this fresh melon-like fruit, oceanic, airy, fresh note to it. And it dries a slightly powdery, almost like a feel of cashmere. It's very watery. Then you have mint. You know what mint is? Maybe you use mint in your salads when you make, maybe you use mint in your cooking when you watch Gordon Ramsay shows. It's very sp sweet and spicy and almost addictive smell that keeps you wanting more and more and more. It's a great fragrance for like $30, $33, and guess what? It lasts for 12 hours. Are you the kind of guy that likes to wear track suits or just wear it dressed comfortably and everywhere you go you want to smell fresh on a budget and it lasts all day long? Coach for Men, it's about $30 with citrus top notes of pear and bergamot, and it perfectly blends into the middle notes of cardamom and geranium, so a slight touch of floral in there. And it's got some masculine, spicy, earthy green notes like coriander and ambergris, vetiver. It even has suede instead of leather. And then it Coach Platinum's about eight or ten dollars higher than regular Coach. It smells like a grown-up version of this Versace Eros. And Coach Blue is the new one on the block. Smashing! It's just sexy, gorgeous fragrance with the blue tag. I wear this all the time. Look at this. It's empty. And another fragrance you might like for twenty dollars. It's another. Freshy. It's called Pure Lavender by Ferrari. It comes like this, and I found it for $20. It's a gorgeous bottle with the leather suede from their Ferrari cars. It's right here in the bottle. So if you've never sat in one, this is what they use right here. Those of you who like Jean-Paul Gaultier but never wanted to pull the price tag, I know a lot of people that love this fragrance and they want their girlfriend or wife or moms to buy them. It's cost like 80 bucks. This one's like 100 bucks. This is regular Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is ultra male vanilla, pear, mint, long lasting, sweet, great for cold weather. Chicks love both of these fragrance compositions. If you want compliments, you got to get one of these and it's 
you know, it could be affordable if you want. The two best clones I found for that, for Ultra Male, 9 p.m. is a beast mode. Such a strong projection, such a big cloud around you. It might make you sick, but it smells 99.9% .9 the same as that. It's about 33 bucks. And then Rue Broca, Touche smells just like Jean-Paul Gaultier, even less expensive than this, and another beast mode fragrance. A great fragrance by Salvatore, it's called Aqua Essenziale by Alberto Morias, 2013. It's got lemon, mint, and geranium again, which is almost like a rose. It's got aquatics, it smells like super duper fresh, and I can imagine wearing the cool, comfortable clothes with this fragrance too, or you could dress it up. It's got a nice masculine undertone, some slight spices. It's not like brown grape king or anything, but it just makes you feel good when you wear it. It's comfortable to wear. You can wear it to the gym, wear it to work. It's all year round, highly versatile fragrance. Found for about 25 to 30 bucks. You don't even have to think about it. And when you have to think about a fragrance, did I make the wrong choice? Then it's not the right fragrance. When you wear a fragrance and you just feel good, then you know you have the right fragrance. Thank you for watching this long. We're going to do a giveaway of this Dunhill Fresh, which is the next one on the list. We have about 18 more fragrances to go to get to the 30. But those of you who have made it this far, I'm going to give away two of these full bottles just like this without the box Dunhill Fresh by Alfred Dunhill's A Woody Fresh Fragrance for Men. It smells like cucumbers with basil, but it's actually fresh notes with mint and green notes, and it does have basil in it, lavender and freesia florals in it. It doesn't last the longest, but it, it just makes you feel good. To enter the contest, simply share this video on your favorite platform and type down below, say, I want Dunhill Fresh. I'm going to pick two winners. They'll get a bottle each of this in the next 96 hours. That's two every two, one every two days will win. So remember, share this video, like, be subscribed to this channel, and comment down below, I want Dunhill Fresh, and you'll be entered. I'll be selecting two winners. Womo by Ferragamo. Got this in 2018. It came out in 2016. I almost pulverized the whole bottle. It's a sweet, fresh, masculine scent. When I say sweet, it's a sweet masculine. It's got a blast of pepper right from the beginning. Cardamom, which is a woody, earthy note. Sweet, and it has orange blossom. Think about sweet orange with pepper mixed with sandalwood and items like that six to eight hours is easily projection is medium on this definitely fall or winter scent perfect for this do you like a coffee with cream on top with the tonka bean there's your fragrance don't be scared of the word sweet because it's sweet masculine in this it reminds me of tiramisu which is like a buttery pecan pie in my head says this is the original womo womo does make womo casual life womo signature ferragamo makes lots of different flankers from the womo line even one is called womo urban feel well that's just like a blind grab citrusy fragrance this is one of the best from their line the original womo next you have bentley intense which reminds me of sitting in a Bentley car with some cognac because it's got rum and woody notes in it. This is loud, abrasive, but it's got geranium. So you have a little florals in there, incense is in it and leather. So you think of these notes, these are powerful masculine notes. This isn't for everyone, but if you like those kind of benzoiny, resinous, rum type notes and it lasts forever and it projects really loud, it's not really the biggest compliment getter. It's for people that just want to smell this type of fragrance. In the cold weather, it's awesome. And the price is awesome versus the performance. Bentley Intense. If you wanted it at a notch down, they do make one called Bentley Regular. What does notch down mean? It means it's not as deep and masculine and boozy. It's a more wearable fragrance. The next fragrance is pretty cool. It's by Mont Blanc. I couldn't find the bottle, but I have a backup little bottle I keep in my gym bag. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. You've got water notes, cardamom. You got some aquatics in there. White woods, cashmere. Basically, this smells like Invictus Aqua. Some people say it smells like Invictus Aqua, the original 2016 issue, which is hard to find. I never know, ne never smelled that one. Next, have you ever heard of Perialis Red 360 that smells like Aqua Di Gio? Yes? Well, this is called Just Me for Men by Paris Hilton. It's cheaper than that. It only costs $15 for this big bottle, and it dries down to Giorgio Armani Aqua Di Gio. Some helpful tips for making your $30 or less fragrance smell and appear to be more expensive is the way you rock it. Maybe you'll wear a nice collared shirt with nice pants, or maybe you'll wear something leather because leather always evokes richness. 
or a nice watch. Now it doesn't have to be a brand name one, but a nice looking watch that looks expensive. Matched with your fragrance, matched match with your nice clothing, makes your fragrance upscale. Next fragrance, if you like leather, try Rassasi Layaquam Tobacco Blaze. This has leather, apricot, dries down, smoky vanilla. The next fragrance is Afnon Rare Carbon. It came out in 2018. Afnon reached out to me back then when I only had a few thousand subs. For that reason alone, I love their company. They're a family-oriented company, both in Dubai and in the United States. Two different families. One is distributing for the other, and they have their wife and their children all involved in the process. They're also a family of fragrance lovers. To be quite honest with you, this is very long-lasting, and for the price that it is in the United States, it is amazing, and they... They have authorized my website to sell it for one of the best prices in the nation. Rare carbon smells like ombre leather. It's a leather fragrance. Amber Crombie and Fitch Fierce is a great fragrance. It has some violet leaves, some Szechuan pepper. It's very clean, comfortable, perfect for a teenager. Projection lasts one hour. Longevity is four hours. But it's got a tropical fruit that's very appealing for women. They like it. You can wear this at any age. It doesn't have to be a teenager. Perfect for cold weather as well. This is a great first fragrance for someone who just doesn't know what to get. And it's quite affordable, especially if you find the tester bottles. They're only $20. This is about $30. Sweet, fruity, musk, soft, scent with a soft touch of leather. Back to year 2000 with Burberry Touch, which is a very fresh, unique citrus pepper fragrance that ultimately gets lots of compliments. It's the kind you spray on your shirt and it lasts for a long time. Found for $30 for big bottles on discount sites. Projection is very, very good despite their having longevity issues, which is four to five hours recently. Cool. It's an eau de parfum called Ferrari Cedar Essence. Back in the 2000s, this sort of composition that it has, it's got mint and the ocean notes and an essence of cedar, but this type of composition would an older formula, but in this situation, they've modernized it. It's quite refreshing with the essence, like you sprinkled cedar wood in it. And it's an eau de parfum concentration. Next is Nick Jonas in collaboration with John Varvatos. Cool fragrance with a cool hectagon cap and a beautiful crimson colored fragrance. You'll enjoy wearing this fragrance. It's one of those scents that's what's not to like about it. It has lots of unique notes in it like coffee and CO2. It's interesting how they put that in there. That means airy. It's got delicious citruses that seem to come from regions across the world. A sweet rum apple note is in here. You'll pick up upon the first few minutes of spraying this. It's got a sudden leathery suede note in there that comes out a little bit after. It's got resins and musk, all year round appropriate. Another long lasting fragrance is called Azaro Amber Fever. And when you smell this, it's got just plain, it is just amber. And people say it smells similar, but it does and like 50%. It kind of gives you the effect of this YSL tuxedo, which is $400 or $300, and this is $30. And Azaro also made Azaro Intense, which came out in the same year as Paco Rabanne. One Million Cologne and Sean John 3 AM, which is 2015. Intense has similar notes to Isimiyaki Noir Ambre. They both share cinnamon. Issy has added leather and saffron to give you an idea. This has the cinnamol synthetic note, which is the bark of a cinnamon tree, giving you a light and powdery cinnamon effect. Whereas incense fragrances like Spice Bomb or Herod, the cinnamons are more sweet, so to speak. So this has the Azaro DNA with the cinnamon note, which is light and powdery. Projection, two to three hours. Longevity, seven to nine hours price. Under $40, Azaro Intense 2015. Next up, we have the Hidden Gem of the J. It's called Hidden Gem of the Day. Next up, the Hidden Gem of the Day by Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy Private Edition. It's got this maple syrup, smoky, woody type notes in it. It dries down beautifully. It's kind of hard to find, but you can still find it. It's got a pleasant vanilla dry down. Great for spring, cool nights. You can definitely smell the faint traces of neroli. Do you know what neroli is? Neroli is a bitter orange extracted oil which has a sweet touch of honey in it with green nuances. So it's bitter orange, sweet honeyed green all together at once. Versatile, yes. All year long pretty much and highly versatile, mass appealing, hugely complimented fragrance 
with a nice central probably two to three feet and projects good for the first two hours Another fragrance that's really cheap and it's a second hidden gem is called Rihanna Rogue Man. Basically, this is a masculine floral pepper vanilla fragrance. And if you spray it on your clothes, it's on your clothes for days. It's made by Rihanna, the pop star. And she, she wanted to evoke the feeling of whenever your man leaves the bed, you can still smell him. And it does do that. How about this one by English Laundry? It's called Cambridge Night. This one, English Laundry, if you don't know who they are, they're a men's fashion company. And they some of their best fragrances are called Oxford Blue and Arrogant. And this one's called Cambridge Night. It's a metallic red fragrance with a gold top. It sprays out very widely. Oceanic notes with lemon and a touch of floral, which equals, this is an Eau de Parfum. And people say it smells like Invictus, and it does. It has that bubblegum vibe. Number 28 is a sweet, almost gourmand fragrance called Saba Wa'ud. It's a cheap niche fragrance under $30. It dries down to a coffee scent, like an intense cafe, which is an expensive niche fragrance brand title. It smells similar to it. It's got similarities to Bond Number no. 9, it's New Bond Street. It gives you that same gourmandy effect when you wear this. It's a pretty cool fragrance for the price. Another cool fragrance is Dunhill Century Blue, which has orange notes and Styrax, which is a resin, all combined together. It's a cool square bottle. It's a magnetic cap. It's an easy to wear fragrance, clean, crisp, and fresh, ultimately made by Dunhill. And you can find these for 30, 35 the most. Another fragrance that's gaining a lot of traction, it's called Afnon Supremacy Incense, one of my favorites, these two are my favorites of the month right now because it's cold weather, the Saba Wa'ud for those gourmandy days. And this one, green apple mixed with incense and people are claiming it smells like Amouage Interlude Man because it has that same similar vibe to it. And the Amouage Interlude Man is $350 where this is 28 bucks on my website. Appreciate everyone who's bought this season. Peace and love, comment down below any kind of fragrance that you guys are enjoying today. Don't forget, 